A warm welcome to everyone and wishing you all a very happy new year. Welcome back to the channel. In this video series, we will understand the EIGRP protocol and its features. Routing protocols are used to automatically and dynamically exchange routing information between routers. There are several routing protocols to choose from, each with its own pros and cons. As each routing protocol is designed to be well suited to a particular network implementation scenario. Two of the most popular routing protocols used today are Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, or it can be called EIGRP. And other one is Open Shortest Path First, or it can be called OSPF. EIGRP is an enhanced version of IGRP, as the name says and was until recently a Cisco proprietary routing protocol. EIGRP is classless protocol, and it provides unequal cost load balancing and rapid convergence. Its secret sauce is the diffusing update algorithm, or DUAL, which identifies network paths and provides fast reconvergence using loop-free backup paths. EIGRP will form neighbor relationships with adjacent routers in the same autonomous system. EIGRP uses RTP, Reliable Transport Protocol, and its function is to deliver EIGRP packets between neighbors in a reliable and ordered way. All EIGRP routing information are exchanged between neighbors via multicast, using the address 224.0.0.10. EIGRP routers do not send periodic updates or full table routing updates. Updates are sent when a change occurs and include only the change. An EIGRP summarization feature is enabled by default. And to disable this, no auto summary command is needed because by default, EIGRP behaves like a classful routing protocol, which means it won't advertise the subnet mask along the routing information. For example, 1.1.1.0/24 and 2.2.2.0/24 will be advertised as 1.0.0.0/8 and 2.0.0.0/8. Disabling auto summary feature ensures EIGRP sends the subnet mask along with network. Another important thing is, if a packet is not acknowledged, EIGRP retransmit the packet to the non-responding neighbor as a unicast. No other traffic is sent to this neighbor until it responds. After 16 unacknowledged retransmissions, the neighbor is removed from the neighbor table. A neighbor is considered as lost if no hello is received within three hello packets. The term hybrid routing protocol is sometimes used to define EIGRP, but you know, it is a wrong statement. It is not a hybrid between distance vector and link state protocol. It is solely a distance vector routing protocol. Let's see the difference between traditional distance vector routing protocol and enhanced distance vector routing protocol. With this slide, you can easily recognize the differences between traditional distance vector routing protocol an enhanced distance vector routing protocol. Traditional distance vector routing protocol clearly says it uses Bellman Ford or Ford Fulkerson algorithm. It follows age out entries and uses periodic update method to update neighbors. Also, when a route becomes unavailable, the router must wait for a new routing update from neighbors. Slow convergence is weakest point in it due to hold down timer. Although hold down timer keeps the topology loop free, you can easily recognize enhanced distance vector routing protocol is is completely opposite from the traditional one because it is designed to use diffusing update algorithm or dual. Some of the major points are the enhanced version does not send periodic update. It does maintain topology that contains successor and feasible successor. Dual algorithm helps EIGRP to perform fast convergence. If primary route becomes unavailable, there are many more advantages with enhanced distance vector routing protocol, and slowly we will understand in coming sessions. EIGRP uses AS, or autonomous system. Number range from 1 to 65,535 to identify collection of routers that share same information. A router can run multiple EIGRP process. Every process operates in the autonomous system context. 
Each AS represents a common routing domain. By default, EIGRP will limit itself to use only 50% of the interface bandwidth. It is important to remember that autonomous system in an EIGRP context is slightly different from the BGP use of that term. An autonomous system in EIGRP is a collection of EIGRP routers that fall under a single administrative authority. Practically, that means that only EIGRP routers in the same autonomous system will exchange EIGRP information. You must configure the autonomous number of the EIGRP instance running on each EIGRP router. And it must be the same in order for the routers to become neighbors. If you have multiple EIGRP autonomous systems, the only way to share information between those autonomous systems is using redistribution. For example EIGRP advertise routes to directly connected neighbors like a distance vector protocols, and it uses a series of tables like link state protocols. EIGRP has four major components. First is neighbor discovery. Second is reliable transport protocol, or RTP. Third is diffusing update algorithm, or dual. And fourth is protocol dependent modules, or PDM. Let's discuss more about these key components. Neighbor discovery is used by routers to learn about the other routers on their directly attached networks. The routers can determine if neighbors are unreachable through hello packets. Post this assessment, the neighboring routers can exchange routing information. Reliable Transport Protocol or RTP Protocol is a in charge of the guaranteed and ordered delivery of EIGRP packets. RTP supports unicast and multicast delivery of the packets. When the packets do not need to be acknowledged, for example hello packets, the destination IP address of the packets is 224.0.0.10. Diffusing Update Algorithm, or DUAL, is the convergence algorithm used by EIGRP. It was first proposed by E. W. Dijkstra and C. S. Schulten. You all might not aware. The most prominent work with DUAL has been done by J. J. Garcia Luna Sieves. Distance vector routing protocols such as RIP prevent routing loops with hold down timers and split horizon rules. Although EIGRP uses both of these techniques, it uses them somewhat differently. The primary way that EIGRP prevents routing loops is with the dual algorithm. Let's take an example to understand more about dual algorithm and how it works. A directly connected network on router 2 goes down. Now the router 2 sends an EIGRP update message to its neighbors, indicating the network is down. Now router 1 and router 3 return an EIGRP acknowledgement, indicating that they have received the update from router 2. Router 2 realizes that it does not have an EIGRP backup route known as a feasible successor. So, Router 2 sends an EIGRP query to its neighbors, asking them whether they have a route to this down network. Router 1 and Router 3 return an EIGRP acknowledgement indicating that they have received the query from Router 2. Router 1 and Router 3 send an EIGRP reply message in response to the query sent by Router 2. In this case, the reply would state that the router does not have a route to this network. Router 2 returns an acknowledgement indicating that it received the reply. Let's understand Protocol Dependent Modules, or PDM. EIGRP uses protocol dependent modules to route different protocols, including IP, Apple Talk, and Internet Work Packet Exchange, or IPX. PDMs are responsible for the specific routing tasks for each network layer protocol. For example, the IP EIGRP module is responsible for sending and receiving EIGRP packets that are encapsulated in IP and using dual to build and maintain the IP routing table. I hope these key components are clear for you. You all must be aware, there are five packet types can be captured during the process. Although, we have seen the behavior of each packet. However, let's talk about more. In normal scenarios, before any EIGRP packets are exchanged between routers, 
EIGRP must first discover its neighbors by sending hello packets. The hello packets are sent in every five seconds, and packets are exchanged between directly connected neighbors. The hello packets are sent as multicast, and important thing is, EIGRP routers discover neighbors and establish adjacencies with neighbor routers using the hello packet. The packets are sent as multicast and do not require acknowledgement. On multipoint scenario and non-broadcast multi-access networks, where frame relay, ATM and X25 technologies are used, the hello packets are sent as unicast in every 60 seconds. An EIGRP router assumes that as long as it is receiving hello packets from a neighbor, the neighbor and its routes remain viable. In addition to the hello timer, EIGRP neighbors have a hold timer. The hold timer indicates how long a router should wait before marking a neighbor inactive if it stops receiving hello packets from that neighbor. By default, the hold timer is three times more from the hello timer. On high-speed links, the timer is set to 15 seconds, and on slower links, the timer is set to 180 seconds. Let's understand update and acknowledge packets. The update packet are used to send triggered updates. EIGRP won't send periodic updates like distance vector protocols. They send triggered updates only when a change has occurred. The update packets are sent as multicast or unicast form, and an update packet contains routes information. When a new route is discovered, the update packets are sent as multicast. The router sends the packet unicast for synchronization. When a new EIGRP router comes up, they require acknowledgement. Acknowledge packets are sent as acknowledgement for an update and reply packet. It is always be in unicast form, and it does not require acknowledgement. Let's understand query and reply packets. When a root computation happens and there is no feasible successor, a query packet is sent to its neighbors. Most of the time, they are multicast and requires acknowledgement. In some specific cases, the packets are sent as unicast. A reply packet sent in response of a query packet. They are unicast and sent reliably. Let's understand what is neighbor relationships in EIGRP. EIGRP forms neighbor relationships, or adjacencies, with other routers in the same autonomous system, by exchanging hello packets. Routers share routing information after forming adjacencies. Hello packets are sent as multicasts to the address 224.0.0.10. By default, EIGRP hello packets are sent every 5 seconds. On slower connections, EIGRP hello packets are sent every 60 seconds by default. Our router has just discovered the neighbors and formed the adjacencies. Now the router will prepare and maintain three tables based on the data received from the neighbors. Basically, EIGRP maintains three tables after forming the adjacencies with neighbor router. Neighbor table, topology table, and routing table. As of now, nothing much to say about these tables, however, few words I can say about each table. When a router discovers a new neighbor, it includes the IP address and the interface detail in the neighbor table to reach the neighbor. The neighbor table is similar to the adjacency database found in link state protocols. The topology table contains all the destinations details received from neighbor routers. It also contains successor and feasible successor detail for each destination. The routing table contains the best route for each known network.